Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Monday the 9th of August 2021. New week, new start. Same Sudoku. <laughs> um, okay, we've got uh, an easy level puzzle today. Monday's kind of beginner's day or easy level puzzle day uh, in the Guardian. So we'll get on to that in just a second. And I'd like to mention something that I heard in the news um, on the BBC World Service actually about um, uh, good news for cystic fibrosis sufferers um, as uh, a new drug has been released uh, in well certainly in Scotland it's being used uh, one particular person is claiming um, great results um, we have to be rather skeptical about you know like a um, just like an anecdotal kind of evidence but it seems that this drug is uh, uh, has some great potential and uh, we are hearing good things about it so it's uh, called Caftrio and it's to help sufferers of cystic fibrosis which is a horrific disease and means that people don't normally live beyond their 30s they don't normally um, their age their life expectancy is you know kind of early 30s or something like that um, and uh, this has caused at least some people to regain huge amounts of lung function, um, you know, possibly back up to almost fully functioning lungs again. Um, so we hope that it lives up to its early promise. Of course, some drugs don't do that, but we are optimistic and, uh, and we uh, send our best wishes to anybody that's suffering from cystic fibrosis. And if you are available in your area to uh, find out more about that drug then uh, I think maybe that's worthwhile doing okay so let's get on with our Sudoku puzzle for today if you've never played Sudoku before and that could well be true because it's easy day what can you see or well, a large grid containing nine squares by n across by nine squares down <coughs> excuse me and then these black, black high, um, outlined boxes here so what we do is fit numbers one to nine in each of the rows across columns down and these blocks uh, that we refer to um, in these black sections there are nine this is a small three by three square uh, and we use the fact that a number can appear only one time in its row because there are nine squares so numbers one to nine one time in its column again numbers one to nine and the same thing for the block okay hope you got all of that um, so then I show you now what um, uh, what now I've shown you what to do I should uh, show you a number uh, as an example right which I will do in just a second when I see one because I don't play these games before starting the video or anything like that now I see this nine blocking across here like this and this nine blocking down here so I immediately know that our first number nine has got to go there now excuse the traffic noise um, but if you um, see a number like this, so 9 blocking, 9 blocking here, you know that it's a 9. It cannot be any other number because there is only one solution, like a regular jigsaw type puzzle, okay? This one that blocks across this row here, remember, cannot reappear. So no digit 1 can be in any of these squares along this row. So when you consider a kind of blocking effect like that, you can see there's only one square left. So we know that the one has to go there. Now we take this one and we go up this column now. So we know can't be in any of these squares. So that square is out. And this one, same thing. No, can't be there. And we see a one across here. So we have blocking, blocking, and blocking. And that means a one must be in that square there. Now we'll take that one that we just filled in and we'll put it across this row here and this one across this row. And there's a one down here. Did you see it? blocking up here and one blocking up here and that gives us a one in that square there there's six blocks across this row here so there's only one square left in this block so the six has got to go there now we should look and see which numbers are missing when we see something like this we only have two numbers to get in this block so we've got one, two, three, four. Is there a five? No. Six? Yes. Seven? Yes. Is there an eight? No. 
is there a 9? Yes. So 5 and 8 are the missing numbers in this block. Now we look down here to see if we can see anything, and yes, lo and behold, we have a 5 blocking that square there. So we know the 5 can't go here, it's got to go here, and the last number that we need to complete this block is 8. The 8 that we just filled in, we move across this row, this 8 across this row, and this 8 blocking up here, so we can see that an 8 has to go there like that. This 8 we bring down this column, this 8 down this column, 8 across here, 8 across here, giving us an 8 in that square there. Getting the game now? Getting the idea now? It's not that difficult, is it? Just a matter of looking around and seeing stuff. Um, that's all there is to it, really. We can see that there are two numbers missing in this column, right? We have 1, 2. Do we have a 3? No. 4, 5. Uh, do we have a 6? No. 7, 8, 9 we have. So 3 and 6 are the two missing numbers that we need to fill in these two places in this column. Now, immediately we can see this 3 is pretty nearby and says that this can't be a 3. So the 3 has got to be here and the 6 has got to be there like that. The 6 blocks down this column here, so there's only one square left. 6 has to go there. This 6 blocks across this row, this 6 blocks across this row, and there's a 6 right at the top here blocking this square here because it blocks all the way down this column. So we know that 6 has got to go there like that. And then we can see 6 blocking up here, 6 blocking down here. So we're focusing on this central block here, 6 not allowing these two squares, the 6 disallowing that square, 6 across here and 6 across here. So we know that right in the middle there, that's got to be a 6 as well. Now there's only one of these blocks that doesn't have a 6. We can see a 6 here, 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 here. This is the only block that doesn't have a 6. Now if that's the case, you must be able to find it. Here's a rule you can remember at your beginning of your Sudoku career. You, if there's only one more digit to get, if you've got eight of them already, the last one you can always get. So six blocks up here like this, six blocks up here like this. Okay, so these two columns are out. Six blocking across here and across here gives us the final digit six to fill in there. Now we've got six in every block now, so we know that we have completed all sixes. Every row has a six, every column has a six now. If you hear some kind of cat noise, that's mine. Uh, don't worry about it. One blocking across here, one blocking across here, and one blocking down. That gives us a one in that square there. This one blocking down this column here, one blocking down this column here, and one blocking here gives us a one in this square here. Now, uh, let's look along this row and see which numbers we don't yet have. We have one, two. Do we have a 3? No. Do we have a 4? No. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we know that in this square and this square, we need a 3 and a 4. But I think you can see, look very close by, there's a 4 here saying, this can't be a 4. That must be a 4. And this, therefore, is the last number, which is a 3. Now, again, Checking for the last missing two numbers, 1, 2, we don't have a 3, 4, 5, 6, we don't have a 7. So the missing numbers are 3 and 7 here, and across here there's a 7 blocking that square there. So 7 goes here, and 3 goes here like this. Missing numbers across this row now, okay, uh, you can say are 5 and 9 if you count through. 1, 2, 3, 4, no 5. 6, 7, 8, no 9. Now you, could, you can see that this 9 blocks this square. Or you could just say, look, 9 blocks down this column, so 9's got to be in here anyway. And that is the point that you'll notice about Sudoku, is that very often there's more than one way to see which is the correct answer. Now there's only one square, one uh, and one number missing, I should say, and it's a two. We have one, but we don't have a two yet, 
So the two goes here. Now this column, there's only one number missing. One, two, three. We don't have a four yet, so let's place our four there. Um, going quite well now. I've made a quite a lot of progress already, I think. Uh, one, two, is there a three? No. Is there a four? No. Now three blocks down here, four blocks down here, so we can see that three is there and the four is there. We've completed these bottom three blocks and uh, that's nice. So um, what else is there to do? Uh, one in here we have two numbers missing one two three four we don't have a five six seven eight we don't have a nine so the two missing numbers here are five and nine look quickly look quickly yes you spotted it nine can't go here nine goes here five goes here okay Um, right, so this is kind of complete. This three we can't do too much about, so we need to look in other directions now. Let's see what else we can see. Uh, and you have to keep shifting your your view around the board because you know things change the whole time. Every time you fill in a number, the situation has changed. You need to remember that. Four blocking across here, four blocking up here. This has got to be a four. Four blocking across this row, four blocking across this row, so blocked here, blocked here, and then a four that we filled in earlier, blocking up here, so we can tell that that square there has to be a four. We'll take this four and block up this column, this four blocking up this column, and this four blocking this square here, so the only square left is there. And I do believe that's all of the fours finished now as well, so we don't need to worry about digit four. There's quite a lot of traffic noise today. Um, now, sometimes in Sudoku, uh, I mean, there's there's no doubt an easy way of thinking about this, but um, quite often what we try to do is think ahead a couple of moves, a bit like when you play chess. If you play chess, of course, you can't just think of the next move because somebody will outmaneuver you very, very quickly, right? You know, you just think a couple of moves ahead. So you think, if this happens, that happens. A kind of if-then type scenario. So let's think, in, in Sudoku though, it's not exactly like that. It's not even if, or it's not even that uncertain. It's more certain than that. So when we consider this five here, okay, blocking right up here like this, so these two squares are out, and then we see this 5 blocking across this top row. What do we know? That 5 is now limited to this square and this square. Now we look down for our intersecting 5s, but we don't find any, so we don't know. So do we just give up and say, hey, we just don't know? Well, yes, but it does give us some extra information, because we know that 5 has to be in one of these two squares. It can't be there in any of these three. It's got to be here or here. So if it's here, it blocks along this row, and if it's here, it still blocks along this row. So whichever one of these two squares it appears in, it cannot be here. This cannot be a five. Then five blocks these two squares here, so there's only one square left to be a five in that block there. So it's a kind of thinking ahead a couple of moves, and that's the skill that you need to develop uh, for the more difficult games of Sudoku. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't yet have a seven, so we'll fill that in now as the last number in this row. Okay. Let's do that again, shall we? Look, seven blocks here, so seven must appear in this row or this row. Okay. Now, do we? Can we tell where? No, because we don't have any intersecting sevens. But never mind. It's here or here. So it can't appear anywhere again in this row, because if it's here, it's blocked. If it's here, it's blocking the same row. So there cannot be a 7 here, in other words. This 7 blocks this square. So now we know that 7 has to go there like that. Uh, 
uh, you know, we, it's 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 little by little, kind of, you know, you inch your way forward to the finish line, as it were. Okay, now, what numbers are missing in this row here? We have a 1. Do we have a 2? No. Do we have a 3? No. Do we have everything else? If we want to check, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes. So 2 and 3 are our missing numbers. Look here. Here's a 2 saying no, no, no. So 2 goes there. 3 goes there. Now there's one number to get up here, so we must be able to get it. We'll just count through. One, two, any threes? Nope, no threes in that column. So we know that a three goes there like so. Um, all right, what else do we need? Uh, Okay, this 9 blocks up this column, this 9 here blocks up this column, so 9 will have to appear here, like this. Now what numbers are missing? Count through, we have a 1, do we have a 2? No. 3, 4, 5, 6, any 7? No. So 2 and 7 are the missing numbers, 7 says that can't be a 7, so 7 goes there. And the 2 goes here, there's now one number to get along this row, and I can see that it's a 2. Okay. There are two numbers missing here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So missing numbers are 5 and 9. Can we tell which is which? No, we can't. So we still can't fill in these two numbers. We know they're 5 and 9, but we don't know what which is which just yet. So we have to look away and look further down. Uh, so let's look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we don't have. 8 we don't have, and 9 we don't have. Now, uh, the 9 blocks across here, but that's not going to help us. The 8 blocks here, and that's also not going to help us. So now, ah, we've got a bit of a conundrum, haven't we? But actually, look, if you look at this column here, you'll see there's only one number missing, one empty space. Now, if there's only one empty space, that's what you should always attack next, because you sure, you're sure to get it. So it's a 5 that's missing. We'll see. 1, 2, 3, 4... No 5 in this column, so we place the 5 now. And now that we do that, we can see 5 blocking across this row gives us a 5 there. Okay, and 5 blocking up here gives us the 5 there. And the missing number was 9. If you remember that far back, there's one number missing down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got a 9. This is the 8. This 8 blocks this square here, so 8's got to appear here. 1. No 2 yet, 2 goes here, 2 blocks this square, we don't yet have a 2 in this block, so 2 goes here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we don't yet have a 7, okay, one number left, now you see, we can either get it by counting along this row, or we can get it by counting in the block, either way, it will be the same number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's got to be a 9, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's got to be a nine. And that's our easy level Sudoku puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. If that's your first ever Sudoku, come in, come in to the waters, the beautiful waters of Sudoku, and enjoy playing this wonderful game, which will uh, be a great part of your life if you play it, I think. It's a very enjoyable pastime. So thank you. Subscribe to the channel, please, and come back again and try a few more easy puzzles and then work your way up to the expert level puzzles eventually. Thank you, bye bye.